Welcome back, viewers. So let's play Pool of Radiance. I'm just savoring my uh, morning coffee at the moment. Uh, so, yep, we failed in uh, Mendor's library. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we have to do before we can come back there, but uh, we gotta do something because we can't open those doors. So, uh, right now we're gonna, we have a mission to go to Poto Plaza that we got before. So right now we're entering the Kudos Well area and we're gonna make our way over to the plaza. And now we are entering the plaza. The plaza ahead is crowded with monsters. How will you proceed? You know, sometimes I feel like I'm reading these things and I sound like hooked on phonics, but I, I don't know, it's just, it's hard to concentrate sometimes, like, because of my audio setup, you know, my music is playing, like, super loud, and so if I sound like a fourth grader sometimes, well, a second grader, that just, you know, cut me a little slack, I guess. Um, so I don't really want to stride boldly forward. We're not that strong. Um, let's disguise ourselves as monsters. I really have no idea how they do that. Like, do they smear excrement on themselves, or, like, what do they do? So, um, it's always possible that they are gonna... Yeah, okay, they moved on. It's always possible that they won't, but you hope that they will move on. Uh, so we'll go into the Temple of Bane here. Let's see what happens. A robed orc is sitting here. What do you do? Let's greet him. The orc smells crookedly. Greetings from Bane. We are recruiting creatures for our temple, we are. <laughs> to the northeast. Are you interested? Uh... Yes. Meet here, you will, in two hours. You may meet High Priest Mace. He escorts you out. Uh... I don't know what that's about, but... I don't think I'll be coming back there in two hours. Oh. oh I'm sorry. It's just... Um... Even with DOSBox, we're still running a little fast, so those things just came and went. It's hard to get the exact speed right, and I also don't want everything to go super slow. Okay, so... This is the auction that we were sent to, to check out because some item of power is supposed to be auctioned off and we want to find out what it is, etc. The auctioneer cries, Creatures of all ages, welcome to this auction for an item both magical and powerful. The auctioneer has either a wand or, or ah, staff. More coffee. What's going on? Stupid keyboard. Do you wish to stand and listen? One of these days, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, key, a keyboard with a wire that comes out of the back of it and plugs into the computer. Uh, let's move in closer. Well, eh, it's a wand of illumination. Who cares? I see it in the, I see it in the dark anyway. The bidding escalates to 5,000 gold pieces. I bid from a man in plain clothes next to an ogre. Uh, let's wait for the winner. Going, going. Gone! The auctioneer cries. That's all, folks. Okay. A man and an ogre exchange the wand in a large bag, then disappear into the crowd. Oh, you ogres. You crazy, crazy ogres. I will not do a Shrek impression. Most, mo most, for the most part, the reason is because I can't. <laughs> so, the auction over, the monsters grumble and turn away. Uh, no matter what you do, you can't find out what the item is. So, that is uh, good enough. And we will go back to uh, the glare at your party and the men. Who are you? Hottie. Hottie. Hottie, I said. Dang it. Stupid keyboard. Messing up all... Sorry. Potty. Potty. Ugh. Okay, we'll be we'll keep, we'll be coming back to this area. All right, but for the moment, 
we're just gonna go and turn in uh, this quest since we have uh, watched the auction, etc. Then we're gonna come back and uh, I'll come back and I'll go through all the set areas of uh, Poto Plaza. I think in order to clear it out, you have to fight random battles. So I'm not gonna subject you to that part, but. Um, I'll, I'll do the set battles and then I'll end the video and uh, do the random battles and then I'll, I'll probably start the video after that with um, me turning in the quest, the, the reward for clearing out the area. So, you are outside the clerk's office. Yada yada yada. At your entry, the council clerk, wait, we've read that before. Uh, your success at Podal Plaza is noted. Here is your reward. Is it good? Come on, big money. Ah, uh, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Uh, super keyboard. God. Um, I should just take this keyboard, throw it out the window. No, that's not what I was thinking. Uh, well, that's all right. That'll pay for a, a level. Um, I don't think anybody's ready to level. Putting down the paper, she says, I must bring to your attention the following concerning Valentine Graveyard. Yeah, we won't be going there for a while. Undead from the graveyard had grown more dangerous than all of the other forges, blah, 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 blah. Whoa, we get an enchanted weapon just for accepting the commission? Yeah. Oh, we just got XP just for accepting a mission. The only problem? <laughs> Vampires! Oh my god! Vampires! No! No! What? Oh, a two-handed sword. Right. We'll give that to Robbie Sue. Just to carry. Because he never moves, so it doesn't matter if it encumbers him. Those are probably remove level drain or something. Oh, I can't even begin to express how much I hate vampires. Okay, so the clerk shuffles through her papers in a matter of commission. Uh, book match comes, so they're still asking about that. A uh, couple mansions will go there eventually, not too long from now. Uh, find the nomads and stop them from joining forces with our enemies. That is outside the city of Flynn. And uh, New Flynn, as it were, I guess I should say that. That should be exciting. You'll get a chance to finally see the Moon Sea regions. Um, not that they're detailed in any sort of rich <laughs> detail, but yeah, it's still kind of neat, you know, to see, I guess. Um, I'm just going through and seeing how much XP everybody has. Oh, yeah. So, definitely after we get done with Podal Plaza, our mazes will be leveling. Oh, you know what I need to do is, um, I should have done this before. Let's see if anybody needs to memorize anything. No? Ideally, I would have taken this, taken care of this before. Oh, and large, uh, that'll be useful eventually. Right now, it's not really of much use because um, strength was one of the few stats which I did uh, modify for my guys just to make sure it was high. I think um, enlarge and strength both as a base to set your strength to 18. So, uh, all our fighters have higher strengths than that. The only one it would be useful for is if I wanted Huggles to fight, but for the most part, I don't. I, I could definitely see having him fight, because um, I was talking and chewing gum. Because he can't use any ranged weapons, but, you know, it's, uh, it's a toss-up. Oh, uh, let's see here. Alright, heading back to Total Plaza. I've got this guy speaking German. He's distracting me. Ah, they stand ready to combat them. This looks like hobgoblins? How many? What? That's... Oh, I didn't miss those two. That's a bit of a problem. Who can we move up there? Da, 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 da. Da, da, 